up, guys? Jacob got a new car today. He sold his other one. You knew that. What is it? It's a 2007 335i. It's got the N54 engine. And today we are going to use the MHD tuner and tune it. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do to it. We'll get into it when we're tuning it because we'll pick all those options. But uh, namely, like you can get backfire, you can select different like boost targets. Burbles. Um, burbles. Here's a cold start. So yeah, we're gonna get started on this. If you're doing this route, you want the MHD app. It's on the iPhone. So it's just this right here. I have MHD N54, because that's the N54 engine. Um, and it's no. on various platforms, like 135i, 535i, 335i. When you're doing a tune, you wanna make sure to have your battery connected to a power source so that it doesn't die while it's Writing. Yeah, because that could cause issues. It'll basically. You break, just want to be sure that break yeah, your ECU power's good. You don't want that. Yeah. All right, we got the thing on the trickle charge, two amp setup charging, and we got down there where that red light is. It's plugged in, and he's over here trying to figure out how to use it. Oh, look at check out Jeffy's new wheels. It looks like a Mercedes. New yeah. Do you guys like them? If you don't, don't tell us. So yeah, you wanna make sure it's connected first. And a good way to do that, you just go to your codes, read DME code, and you can see that it's connected. Gives you your status of stuff. Gives you all your information. So then I think we can go over to Tune, Flash and MHD map. We'll go to V8. What's your stage one and be safe? What's stage now? one? Unmodified cars. Okay. Activate new license key. So I got my access key. I just bought it. It's a hundred a hundred dollars. That's it. Yep. Wow. Um, and, and, but I think I have to buy a map pack too. So I get my license key. What did you just touch? The lock. Don't do that, bro. I didn't mean to touch it. You can't touch any electronic or open the door, window, nothing when this is writing. That was mechanical. So, for the record, <laughs> once it's writing, do not touch anything so you can't get out the car no i'm gonna be sitting in here you better get out the car i probably will before i actually initialize yeah. it yeah bro you can't be doing that <laughs> all right so it'll give you a success license key activation flash your license successful hit okay so i went ahead and stepped out of the car just because it's going to be a longer write. i don't want to be stuck in there and when i say write, it's rewriting the ecu for the tune we have the key and that you know on position the OBD2 is down in there, that little plug. So now I'm on my app. Flash an MHD map. I'm gonna click that. We're gonna go with V8. I don't wanna try the beta just yet. So version eight. This is unmodified car. So right now I'm just gonna do stage one. I'm gonna run 93 octane. And I have the uh, manual transmission. So I'm gonna click on that. I have the license bought for it, and um, I'm going to do the full write because I haven't done it yet. But before I click that, I'm going to go into my options. Exhaust burble, yes. Launch control. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to do with my options. There's a turbo thing at the bottom, what did I say? Turbo wastegate button. rattle, fix. I don't have a wastegate rattle. Nice. But if you do... You can, uh, there's something you can do to your ECU to make it, uh, not rattle, not rattle less. Oop. Full right. Full right. 18 to 38 minutes. That's a long guy's time. Yeah. Communicating with the DME, preparing the DME. All right, we'll see you guys in 18 to 38 minutes. So yeah, your car might make some weird noises, click, clack. The first time I had the battery charger on two amps, um, and I don't think that was enough. So I switched it up to 10 amps. I said I don't think it's enough because it failed the first time. So I switched over to 10 amps. Now we're almost 60% done. So it took 20, basically 25 minutes. So now if you go back to it and you need to change your options, it only takes like two minutes to write.
a little different. Having fun in there? Yeah. Well, it doesn't sound any different. So yeah. We'll see if it drives different. Maybe it needs to warm up a little. So we got a service engine soon, right? Not what we want to see. Raise boost pressure in a car, you need colder spark plugs. Um, basically higher boost pressures. Uh, higher pressure equals higher heat and sometimes you can experience pre-detonation. Which basically since it's hotter, that spark plug will fire before it's supposed to. So we're reflashing it again. This time I'm just doing non-linear throttle just because I think I liked how that felt better. And then also uh, trying to up the burbles on the exhaust. So once you get the first right down, it's really quick. You can see it's only gonna take about a minute. We have the stock charge pipe on. Probably. We'll have to wait until we get a uh, proper intake elbow for that. Yeah. But you got the spark plugs in. Got the spark plugs in. Necessary. Which is definitely necessary. Now it sounds like a diesel. Is it doing the burble thing? Can I hear it? Let's find out. Yes, it is. It's also shooting out carbon. Yeah. smaller gap on those spark plugs. That seems like a good increase. I like it. I mean, I'm not going full throttle. Did you end up connecting those two hoses blow-offs? I left like? one off. Oh, see, that's what the noise is. So to tidy up what we did here on the E90 tune, we got it to work just fine. Uh, an important thing for my car was getting uh, colder spark plugs. We installed them. We made sure to gap them properly. And uh, it all works. Um, I guess where we left off, I didn't have my diverter valve properly routed. So I was getting a little bit of a leak of airflow, but I have that fixed and the tune works really great. I highly recommend it. There is a noticeable difference between stock and tune and I don't believe I've had any issues with heat soak yet. Luckily, it is winter, so cold air helps. So that is how to tune your BMW N54 with a little OBD2 and a cell phone. So comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tuning adventures and modifications to the uh, E90. Thanks.